Welcome to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 36. This is Monday Night Raw, coming to you from the heart of Fresno, California. On a night where Riddle makes his return after being away for over a month and a half due to injury. He will be back later tonight on Monday Night Raw, plus in the main event, all day Austin Theory, the self-proclaimed future of the WWE, has a big match set against the Viper, Randy Orton. Can Austin Theory bounce back after some recent losses, or will Randy Orton continue his dominance over Monday Night Raw? We're set to kick things off tonight with a battle between two men. For the first time seeing these men since SummerSlam. Entering first, the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre. The last time we saw McIntyre inside the squared circle, he came up short in the triple threat contest at the biggest party of the Summer SummerSlam. And in that contest, he competed for the Intercontinental Championship against former champion Sheamus, as well as now champion, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Unfortunately for Drew McIntyre, it was another big loss in his recent history as he was the one pinned, losing the Intercontinental Championship matchup on that night and awarding Pete Dunne with the gold coming out of SummerSlam. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew We've talked about it a lot. Drew McIntyre has been raking up some big time losses in his recent career. Over the last number of months, it seemingly seems that every time Drew McIntyre has some kind of championship opportunity in front of him, unfortunately, it slips through the fingers. And as we mentioned, the latest addition to that list was at SummerSlam, where not only did he lose the match, but he was the one pinned in the Triple Threat Contest. And I'm sure the Celtic Warrior Sheamus has got a bone to pick with not just Drew McIntyre, but as well as Pete Dunne, the Intercontinental Champion, after he wasn't even pinned to lose the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam. But McIntyre's opponent tonight, also making his first appearance in SummerSlam, the Prince Finn Balor is in action. This is gonna be a good one. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. The last time we saw the Prince inside the squared circle, he went one-on-one -on -one with the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy in an Extreme Rules matchup to finally end their several month feud at SummerSlam. And on that night, it wasn't the Prince who made his presence felt in Phoenix, Arizona. It was the return of the Demon. And what a fight it was in that Extreme Rules contest. The Demon not only using his extreme antics inside the ring, but using the mind games to defeat Jeff Hardy on that night. Unfortunately, as you may have saw if you watched SummerSlam or caught the replay, Jeff Hardy snapped a little bit after the contest, upset at the loss to Finn Balor, striking a referee. We can confirm that Jeff Hardy has been suspended indefinitely. We're not sure when Jeff Hardy will be back here in the WWE, but regardless, because of those actions, Jeff is out of the picture and Finn Balor can finally move on in what his eyes is a new sight. And tonight that sight is set on the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre. Finn Balor looking to continue his momentum from Phoenix, Arizona. Drew McIntyre looking to get back in the winning ways. It's been a rocky couple of months for that man, but Finn Balor finally has put Jeff Hardy in his rear view mirror and can focus on the future, can focus on the now. And the now leads us to tonight in Fresno, California. For Monday Night Raw, we are back in action here on Universe Mode. I'm pumped up. This is going to be a great contest. Drew McIntyre versus Finn Balor kicking us off here on Monday Night Raw tonight. Still to come in our main event. The Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, takes on all day. Austin Theory. That's going to be a great contest coming up in your main event. But here we go. Drew McIntyre and Finn Balor kicking us off here at our opening contest from Fresno on Monday Night Raw. 
And Drew McIntyre looking to come out as the aggressor, but Finn Balor goes behind and able to pop the hips early on the big man. A very interesting contest between two incredible combatants inside the ring. Mostly based off their recent history is what makes this such an interesting affair as to who's going to come out with their hand raised inside of the ring. Remember last week here on Monday Night Raw, we've talked about him a lot already tonight. The new Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne retained his championship over the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. Of course, we know I'm sure Sheamus is going to have his eyes on Pete Dunne in the near future as he lost the championship without even being pinned at SummerSlam. But it's going to be very interesting to see who steps up next to the bruiserweight Finn Balor. That's not, excuse me, the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. It could be Finn Balor for the Intercontinental Championship. As Drew McIntyre's heading to the top rope, Finn Balor is dazed, comes with the ax hammer chop, and he hits it. Very nice maneuver, taking Finn Balor down. And now wait a minute here, wait a minute. We're just getting started with this contest, and the Celtic warrior Sheamus is in the house. Sheamus has got his eyes on McIntyre. He's going to cost him this matchup here. Finn Balor comes from behind. Well, McIntyre counters. He's into the pinfall now. And Finn able to get out. For whatever reason, Sheamus is down here at ringside. He's trying to throw Drew McIntyre off his game. McIntyre's got something else in mind, but Finn's going after McIntyre. Sheamus clearly distracting Drew McIntyre. Not only, as we mentioned, McIntyre is the one who was pinned at SummerSlam, leading to Sheamus walking out empty-handed. But those two men had history prior to SummerSlam. Remember back at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, where those two men fought for the Intercontinental Championship in a grueling match as well. McIntyre with the clothesline on Balor, and McIntyre's face-to-face -face with Sheamus there. Meanwhile, he's trying to keep his eyes on Finn at ringside while Sheamus is there, throwing off the distraction, and Balor takes McIntyre down. Clearly, there's a score to settle between those two men. Meanwhile, these two Irishmen unintentionally, or possibly intentionally, working together here as Finn Balor is taking control of this contest over the Scottish psychopath. Balor grabbing a hold. McIntyre is worse for wear at the current moment. As Sheamus is taking his eye off the ball here, Balor once again snapping the hips with a nice snap German suplex takes McIntyre down. And McIntyre's got to keep his eye on the ball here, man. He does not want to be awarded another loss thanks to the Celtic warrior Sheamus. He's trying to battle back. He's got Balor down and out in the ring at the current moment. McIntyre grabbing a hold, sends Finn Balor over the top rope. McIntyre going to use his strength to his advantage here. Grabbing a hold, and what a shot to the back. And McIntyre's fielded here right in the face of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who's off screen, still at ringside. And obviously out here with a purpose tonight. Clearly he's got a, a bone to pick with Drew McIntyre. McIntyre may have just knocked Finn Balor out with that headbutt, but Balor gets the shoulder up. And McIntyre's doing a good job, at least trying to battle back here and not focus on the fact that Sheamus has joined the presence of the ring. Really going at it to Finn Balor here. Takes him down with that gut wrench. Bat McIntyre into the cover again. Balor's down. And Balor gets the shoulder up. And Drew McIntyre's got to stay on the fight. He's got Finn Balor in a predicament at the current moment. He's really unloaded with some big time offense the last number of minutes. And the big man puts Finn Balor on the top rope. Drew McIntyre could be looking to send him for a ride here. You do not want to go for a ride with Drew McIntyre. Look at the strength of the Scottish psychopath here. Balor's in the air. Blood rush into the head and crashes and burns on the canvas. And McIntyre is in firm control of this contest. There you see Sheamus has still got his eyes. McIntyre went for the leg drop and Balor got out of the way. And Shame is still at ringside here. I don't know if Drew McIntyre is trying to send the message with that leg drop or not. But regardless, the momentum has shifted back in the corner of the Prince. McIntyre's days. Balor's eyeing him up here. Let's see if Finn Balor can capitalize on the misstep from Drew McIntyre. And look at this. McIntyre gets sent down to the canvas. Balor into the cover. Looking to put Drew away. McIntyre able to get the shoulder up just after the two count, but clearly the damage has been done on the psychopath. Oh, wait a minute, Balor's heading up to the top rope. We know what's coming! Coup de gras! 
right to the rib cage of Drew. And Finn Balor has picked up the victory here to kick us off on Monday Night Raw. And this match clearly took a turn after the first few minutes when the Celtic warrior Sheamus made his presence felt, taking his eye, or taking the eye, of Drew McIntyre off the ball. McIntyre fought through the distraction, brung the fight to Finn Balor. But in the end, a costly misstep in the distraction from Sheamus leads to the hand getting raised of the Prince here tonight after maneuvers like that. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! And Sheamus is in there right now. You gotta think this is a little bit of cahoots out of Balor and Sheamus for Balor to get the victory and Sheamus to stick his nose to Drew McIntyre tonight. Balor gets the win and clearly there's a score to settle between those two men. Well, Monday Night Raw continues on here from Fresno. And we are set for a little bit of tag team action right here tonight on Monday Night Raw featuring the new WWE Tag Team Champions of the World. They defeated Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, in a grueling contest at the SummerSlam pay-per-view back on June 26th. Tonight, Dominic and Ray, the Mysterios, the new Tag Team Champions, are here for the first time on Raw, showcasing their new gold, and they're set for action. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 375 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, the team of Dominic and Ray Mysterio. If you missed the SummerSlam pay-per-view, I highly recommend going to check out the replay. If you want to see an incredible World Tag Team Championship matchup, look no further than the Mysterios taking on Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. The Viking Raiders were dominant for several months, but seemingly had no answer for the offense that Dominic and Ray threw at them on that night. And in the end, Ray Mysterio getting the job done for the father and son duo and walking out of Phoenix, Arizona, the new World Tag Team Champions of the WWE. But tonight they are set for action against Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo, Los Lotharios. This is gonna be a hell of a tag team fight. And their opponents at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Humberto Carrillo and Angel Garza. These two cousins looking to get back in the winning ways here tonight. It's been quite some time since they were in a tag team matchup here on Monday Night Raw. We've seen them in singles action recently. Remember, both of these men were a part of that Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator on the road to SummerSlam. But tonight, Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo are back on the same side. Los Lotharios has a big opportunity awaiting them here as they are set for this tag team bout against Dominic and Rey Mysterio. And a win for Los Lotharios tonight could absolutely shoot them to the front of the line for a potential World Tag Team Championship opportunity in the next number of weeks. This is gonna be a good one. What a night it's been on Monday Night Raw so far. Finn Balor moments ago picking up that victory over Drew McIntyre. Thanks to the help of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, plus still to come, Austin Theory takes on Randy Orton. A great night on Monday Night Raw continues on. The Mysterios, Angel Garza, Humberto Carrillo. Let's get things going in this tag team matchup. And ladies, ladies and gentlemen, wait a minute. I'm getting, I'm getting some breaking news here as we're getting into this tag team matchup. Later tonight, before, prior to our main event, we are going to find out. Oh, this is some big breaking news. We are going to find out the WWE Championship Contest at our next Universe Mode pay-per-view extreme rules that is going to be huge news remember last week at the SummerSlam pay-per-view edge defeated aj styles to become the new wwe champion we saw edge in the main event of raw last week teaming up with john cena as they defeated austin theory and omas but it seemingly looks like prior to our main event tonight we're going to find out the next time the wwe championship is going to be on the line that is huge news ladies and gentlemen can't wait to see who Edge is going to be defending the WWE Championship against coming up in our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, Extreme Rules. There's huge news that's going to be coming up later tonight, but here we go in this tag team matchup. Rey Mysterio taking it to the air. Crossbody to the outside of the ring over Humberto Carrillo, and it's that high-flying offense. 
from the Mysterios. The speed that they utilized so well. That was truly their, their X factor against Eric and Ivar at SummerSlam that helped gain them the victory on that night. The Mysterios just were sp flying all over the ring, springboarding all over the ropes. Several 6 one nines and high offense maneuvers from Dominic and Ray is certainly what did the, did the job on Eric and Ivar and awarded the World Tag Team Championships to the Mysterios. But it's an interesting contest here as they are across the ring from Humberto Carrillo as well as Angel Garza, who have similar styles to Dominic and Ray, that Lucha style here. And look at it, look at that. What an incredible maneuver. Moonsaw into the push by Los Lotharios. Angel Garza into the cover here. Dominic in to break it up. It certainly is an interesting contest for Dominic and Rey Mysterio here. Definitely a complete polar opposites to the Viking Raiders. The last team they faced in this ring, now with Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo. And again, they have that Lucha style, that high offense, high exhilarating cruiserweight style that we see from Dominic and Ray. So let's see how these two men, or these two teams, excuse me, are going to clash throughout this contest here. As Ray and Angel Garza are in there. And you remember back a couple of months ago, it's an early episode of Universe Mode. It was on main event. Rey Mysterio and Angel Garza had a classic one-on-one -on -one contest. It was in the lead-up to Backlash. Remember, it was a qualifying matchup for that original Cruiserweight Championship six-pack challenge that we saw at the first Universe Mode pay-per-view. Reigniting that flame here tonight as Dominic gets tagged in. And now Dominic Mysterio off the double team here. Goes into the cover on Angel Garza. Will it be enough to keep him down? But Garza gets the shoulder up. And Garza and Humberto Carrillo, although they've taken some losses the last number of times we've seen them, they've definitely been impressive inside of the ring. We know what they have, what it takes to get it done inside of the ring. Incredible competitors, both men. Angel Garza, a former cruiserweight champion here in the WWE. Humberto Carrillo is, hasn't held any gold, but has certainly been in the, the competition on a few occasions. As Dominic Mysterio comes from the top rope with the splash. And that may do it if he goes into the cover here. May have knocked the wind out of him, but Dominic's going to luck to keep the offense going on Angel Garza. Dominic with the shot. Now that we found out that our next Universe Mode pay-per-view coming up, Extreme Rules, you got to wonder who is going to be the team to challenge Dominic and Ray on that night for the World Tag Team Championships. It could be Los Lotharios if they pick up the victory here. On the same end, you got to look at Eric and Ivar. They were champions for a number of months. I mean, they retained the titles and championship contest over RK Bro, over Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. They defeated Legado Del Fantasma. Eric and Ivar had an incredible reign with the World Tag Team Championships, and I'm sure they're going to be looking to get back those championships in the near future, so it could be them next in line to challenge Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Time will tell here on Monday Night Raw. As Garza has taken control back for Los Lotharios here, tagging in Humberto Carrillo. The Cousins are looking good over the father and son duo here. Families clashing in this tag team matchup here on Monday Night Raw tonight. Still to come tonight, Austin Theory taking on Randy Orton in our main event, as we mentioned. Austin Theory going to be looking to bounce back after a number of losses the last number of weeks. First losing to John Cena in that singles contest at SummerSlam. And of course, as we mentioned earlier, that tag team match last week on Monday Night Raw we saw the WWE Champion Edge and John Cena pick up the tag team win over Austin Theory and his hand-picked chosen tag team partner, Omos. Of course, Randy Orton on the other side has been extremely dominant as of late with huge victories. Look at that! Humberto Carrillo standing. Spanish fly on Dominic Mysterio. Mysterio getting the shoulder up, but very impressive by Carrillo. And as I was mentioning, Randy Orton has been extremely impressive here on Raw and main event as of late. Here in the WWE, he owns a victory over every single member of the Hurt Business. It started with Shelton Benjamin, then Cedric Alexander, then MVP, and then of course he defeated Bobby Lashley at SummerSlam. Randy Orton going to be looking to keep his dominance going in tonight's main event. And remember the whole reason he was interlocked with the Hurt Business is because he believed that they were the ones who took out Riddle over a month and a half ago, and Riddle is expected to be here in Fresno, California tonight. From what I understand, he has not been seen in the building so far today. Questions remain as if we are going to see Riddle here tonight, but hopefully by the end of this evening, we have our answer. Regardless, Rey Mysterio here 
is in there with Angel Garza. Garza, look at this. Sunset flip on Mysterio, but Ray gets the shoulder up. Angel's got to watch his back. Turn the attention to Dominic here. Ray takes advantage with the reverse Rana. And Garza's down. Mysterio springboard. Crossbody to the back. And that is certainly going to do a number on you as later we get in this contest. Garza's day is Mysterio going to shoot him off. Ray Mysterio's got something in mind here. Going to be looking to go high risk, high reward. Wait a minute. Garza's sitting on the top. Ray's going for some of that 90s cruiserweight style action here. Spin around. Frankensteiner, but Garza holds on to the top rope. And Mysterio goes down. Garza with the moonsault. Very impressive reversal. And follow-up from Angel Garza there. Mysterio had a definitely an extreme exciting maneuver in mind. It definitely would have did a number on Angel Garza, but Garza has it scouted there. And now the momentum has teeter-tottered its way back to Los Lotharios. Humberto Carrillo, the legal man, sends one half of the World Tag Team Champions to the outside. Garza, step up, corkscrew. What a maneuver there from Humberto Carrillo. He follows it up with the shooting star press. These young men are leaving it all in the ring tonight against the Mysterios here. Absolutely bringing everything they got. Numerous shooting star presses standing on the outside, squashing Rey Mysterio between Humberto and the floor. Mysterio's got to be feeling the damage here. Yeah, what a springboard maneuver that was. Mysterio trying to fight back. Humberto's down on the outside here. Mysterio getting into the ring. Very good idea to take his moment, catch a breath. Follows it up with a double stomp on Humberto Carrillo. And Ray grabbing a hold. Look at this. Beautiful destroyer. Takes Humberto down. Into the cover goes Ray. Will the World Tag Team Champions pick up the victory here tonight? Carrillo gets the shoulder up at two. Mysterio scouting him here. He knows he may be in trouble. He took some big offense from Los Lotharios the last minute or so, but now he's fighting back. Nice DDT sends Humberto down on the canvas below. Mysterio shooting him off. Now we got a tag to Dominic here. Rey Mysterio's putting them on the top rope. Mysterio's little double team action. Frankensteiner into the powerbomb by Dominic. And Mysterio's taking momentum back. Can they keep it going here? Wait a minute, Dominic sends Humberto. We may be in Fresno, but the 619 ain't too far away. Humberto Carrillo down. Dominic Mysterio headed to the top rope off the 619. Going for the splash. Oh, but he waited too long. Humberto Carrillo gets the knees up. Dominic hesitated off the frog splash. Humberto got the knees up. He's got to be feeling it from the 619. He tags back in Angel Garza. Man, this World Tag Team Championship matchup here. Championship's not on the line, but could be a big opportunity for the Los Lotharios. This meeting between the Mysterios and Los Lotharios here, how exciting it has been, especially these last number of minutes. And Dominic is down. Angel Garza is eyeing him up for something. Garza looking to take momentum and a drop kick right to the cranium of Dominic. Garza grabbing a hold, looking to keep the momentum going for his team. Also, Thorius knows what's on the line here, man. A possible World Tag Team Championship opportunity if they can defeat the Mysterios here tonight. Nice tag team offense, Humberto going into the cover. Will it be enough, though, to keep Dominic Mysterio down? It is not just yet. And Dominic makes the tag. A much needed tag to Ray. Oh, look at that. What a counter. Ray came at Humberto. Humberto countered to the Spanish fly. Followed it up with the SSP, if you will. And we got a tag to Angel Garza. Ray trying to fight back. And this match is kicking it into third gear here. Ray with this moonsault. Garza's down. Headed up to the top rope. Goes for the double stomp, but he hits it. And Ray looking to put the pieces together. Looking to put the final nail on the coffin of Los Lotharios here on Monday Night Raw. Rey Mysterio is calling back home as well. 619. Springboard. Frog splash to Angel Garza. The signature offense from the greatest mask of all time. And the Mysterios pick up the victory here tonight. What a tag team matchup. 
here on Monday Night Raw. Credit where it's due, Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo lost Lotharios throwing everything they had at the father and son duo here tonight. But the Mysterios are riding the high as of late. They've been nearly untouchable, and especially coming off of SummerSlam as the new World Tag Team Champions, I don't know who is going to be keeping Dominic and Ray down in the near time. What a tag team matchup here tonight. Mysterio and Dominic proven that they deserve here to be at the top of the mountain. The team of Dominic and Ray Mysterio. We know Los Lotharios won't be back in the picture anytime soon, but who is going to be first to challenge Dominic and Ray for the World Tag Team Gold? Some more action on Monday Night Raw here tonight. A singles contest coming from the women's division as Liv Morgan goes one-on-one -on -one with Mickey James as well as Mustafa Ali in action for the first time since SummerSlam as he goes one-on-one -on -one with NXT's Cameron Grimes. And in the women's contest, we see Liv Morgan picking up the victory over Mickey James, gaining some momentum for herself, and Mustafa Ali continues to ride the high coming off of SummerSlam with a big victory over Cameron Grimes here on Raw. We are back inside the arena here in Fresno, California as Raw rolls on and we are set for some women's division action. And one half of this contest is going to feature the woman in the ring right now. The Eclipse is here, Ember Moon, set for action on Monday Night Raw. And her opponent tonight is going to be the EST of the WWE, Bianca Belair. What a one-on-one -on -one matchup as this is going to be as it's Bianca's first appearance since losing the WWE Women's Championship at SummerSlam. A whole lot to talk about in that situation, but here comes the EST. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair was dominant for several, several months over the WWE Women's Championship division. However, at SummerSlam, in the third meeting versus Shotzi, Shotzi was finally able to defeat Bianca Belair after an incredible, and I mean incredible, women's division matchup between those two women. Unfortunately for Shotzi, she never even got the opportunity to hold the championship gold in her hand. As moments after the bell rang, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, reared her head and cashed in the Money in the Bank contract, and Asuka walked out of Phoenix, Arizona as the new WWE Women's Champion. A whole lot of writing on that situation regarding the gold. And it's going to be very interesting to see how it continues to play out as Asuka has taken the top, the women's division as the champion. But we know Bianca Belair, after being so dominant for so long, is going to want her chance to be champion yet again. And on the other side, Shotzi, after working so hard and getting better inside that squared circle week after week, we saw the improvement. We saw her getting her hand raised more. She clearly earned the opportunity to fight Bianca Belair at SummerSlam and absolutely earned the victory on that night. We are sure that young woman is going to want to get her chance to not only be a two-time women's champion, but to actually hold the women's championship in her hand. Hopefully we see both of those women getting opportunities at the championship in the near future. Of course, the new champion, Asuka, already with a successful championship defense under her belt last Monday night on Raw. Which she defended against Casey Cat and Zaro, and Asuka, of course, retained the championship last week. Very interesting situation regarding the WWE Women's Championship, and a whole lot of competition going on in that division right now. I'm sure Ember Moon sees it that way as well. She is one on one tonight with the former Women's Champion Bianca Belair. As Bianca's taking the fight to Ember Moon, but you got to think Ember Moon, if she gets a victory over Belair tonight, that's possibly going to put her ahead in the rankings, if you will, for a potential future championship opportunity. As Bianca's in control, Ember Moon gets the shoulder up at the count of two, but you gotta think Bianca, former champion, gotta be in one of the first in line to get a championship opportunity, but if Ember Moon defeats her, will that move her up past Bianca Belair to possibly be the first or the next to beat Asuka for the women's championship? A whole lot of writing on every single time these women step foot in the ring, especially with such an interesting situation, a complex situation coming out of SummerSlam with the WWE Women's Championship involved. As Bianca and Ember Moon have been going out at these last number of minutes, really taking the fight to each other. Ember, nice shot there. 
The rushing leg sweep. Oh, look at this. Into a submission hold here. Very interesting maneuver, but not watching the ring awareness there. Bianca Valera escapes with the foot under the ropes. And Ramu with a nice shot. Nice kick to Bianca. We're going to keep that offense going here. But you got to watch the EST. I'm sure both these women are coming fired up here tonight. But Bianca Belair certainly got something to prove. Now picking up using the strength to her advantage over Ember Moon. And this is some of the classic offense. And some of the reasons why Bianca Belair was WWE Women's Champion for so long. Using her strength to her advantage. And we saw Bianca retain that championship. Over Sasha Banks. Over Rhea Ripley on two occasions. We saw her victorious inside of the ring over the last number of months against Shotzi, against Bailey. Bianca Belair was certainly racking up victories. And just over the last number of months in her recent WWE career. And Shotzi just got the better of her in Phoenix, Arizona. On that night, June 26th belonged to Shotzi, or at least for a moment, until Asuka came aboard. And Ramon is down. Bianca Belair is going to the top rope. Bianca so successful from all the way up there. 450. And that may be enough to keep Ember Moon down here. And it is. Bianca Belair. So many ways to beat you inside of the square circle. We talk about it every time she enters. And tonight she proves that she has another trick in the books. A great matchup with Ember Moon. Ember Moon certainly bringing the fight to the EST. But here tonight in Fresno, California, Bianca Belair pulls another card out of the tricks. 450 splash puts the final nail in the coffin of Ember Moon in this one-on-one -on -one women's division contest on Monday Night Raw. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. Bianca picks up the victory here tonight. An incredible contest. And ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm we're going back to some of that breaking news regarding extreme rules that we were discussing earlier. But I think it involves. The WWE Women's Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. At the next Universe Mode pay-per-view Extreme Rules, Asuka will defend the Women's Championship against both Bianca Belair and Shotzi in a triple threat contest. What a match that is going to be coming up on that pay-per-view. And regarding the WWE Championship contest, we can confirm that it is going to be a five-man elimination challenge in the main event. Edge defends the WWE Championship against Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, AJ Styles, and John Cena. What a huge, humongous main event that is going to take place for the richest prize in the business today. Coming up on pay-per-view, Extreme Rules is already shaping up to be an incredible night. What a WWE Championship main event announced. And speaking of main event, coming up in the next episode of Universe Mode on main event for the first time ever, Following up that tag team matchup from last week, the Colossal Moss is going to go one-on-one -on -one with the franchise, John Cena. What a match that is going to be coming up on Main Event. Well, it's been a great night here in Fresno tonight, but it is time for your Monday Night Raw Main Event. And the Apex Predator... Randy Orton is in the house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper. Earlier tonight, we discussed the recent path of destruction for the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. It all started over a month and a half ago when he found Riddle, his tag team partner, one half of RK Bro, knocked out cold in the parking garage upon arriving to the arena. He believed that that business was dealt with on behalf of the Hurt Business. Bobby Lashley, MVP. He believed the blood was on their hands. Randy Orton took it upon himself to avenge his tag team partner. And week after week, ran through the Hurt Business with victories, and not just victories, but domination wins over Shelton Benjamin, Cedric Alexander, MVP, and then most recently, writing the final chapter against Bobby Lashley, the almighty one, in Phoenix, Arizona at SummerSlam. Randy Orton has put the Hurt Business behind him. 
And unfortunately, we believe that Riddle was going to be here tonight, but I'm receiving news that Riddle still has not been shown, or excuse me, not shown his face in the arena here tonight. So unfortunately, it looks like Riddle won't be making his return as we originally hoped so. But regardless, Randy Orton's got to shift his focus from that situation that's been boggling his mind the last number of weeks with the Hurt Business and Riddle. Because he's got his hands full with the self-proclaimed future of the WWE all day. Austin Theory. This is going to be a great contest one-on-one -on -one between these two men here in your main event. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. For Austin Theory, this match is another chance to shine. Another chance to show that he truly is what everybody believes he is. The future of the WWE. At SummerSlam, he went one-on-one -on -one with the returning franchise John Cena. Unfortunately for the young man, Austin Theory, he came up short in Phoenix. And of course, as we've mentioned earlier tonight, it was last week on Monday Night Raw where Austin Theory had another crack at greatness. When he teamed up with a hand-picked partner, that being the colossal Omos. When the two men took on John Cena as well as the new WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge. And unfortunately for Theory, he once again came up short in that matchup. But regardless of the situation, it's time to right some wrongs. Will Austin Theory get his hand raised tonight? Or will the path of destruction continue for the Apex Predator here in your main event? Another interesting situation, just as we've seen throughout this evening tonight. A lot of opportunities have been on the line. We saw Drew McIntyre and Finn Balor, both those men, kind of similar situation here with one man trying to get his hand raised after some recent losses. The other man just trying to continue his recent wins, his recent momentum. We'll see who can get their hand raised here tonight in our main event between Austin Theory and Randy Orton. Austin Theory with a lot to prove. Randy Orton just looking to keep his momentum going here in the WWE. I'm sure he wasn't anticipating his tag team partner Riddle being by his side here tonight. But again, unfortunately, although it believed that Riddle would be here making his return tonight, Riddle has not been seen in the arena, so it looks like we're going to have to move that to a later date. And Randy Orton taking the fight to Austin Theory here. Nice knee. And Randy Orton, he was so destructive and so cold and calculated, as he always is, but it seemed like it was ramped up to a new level. In all those contests with the Hurt Business, I mean, we saw Randy Orton just delivering RKO's on the outside of the ring and from the top rope and just truly letting all members of the Hurt Business have the worst of them. And it was very brutal. A fast but dominating contest at SummerSlam and that saw Randy Orton and Bobby Lashley just beat the hell out of each other for a number of minutes until Randy Orton again hit that RKO from the top. And it was enough to keep the almighty Bobby Lashley down on that night in Phoenix, Arizona. Austin Theory's down. Randy Orton's got momentum in his corner right now. What about the matchup that we just got announced for Extreme Rules? Austin Theory, it looks like the wins that he was accumulating before SummerSlam have really favored to himself. And the fact that he's going to be getting a WWE Championship opportunity, I'll bite along with four other men in that contest, but it's still a huge opportunity coming up at Extreme Rules, the big five-man elimination challenge. Let's look at this, Austin Theory! Blockbuster on Randy Orton there, and it's moves like that as to why people call Austin Theory the future of the WWE. Not enough to keep Randy Orton down, but hell, if Austin Theory can walk out of Extreme Rules with the WWE Championship, there's gonna be no denying that he is the future of this business here today. It's going to be Austin Theory in there with Mustafa Ali, who is coming off a huge win against Seth Rollins inside of that steel cage match at SummerSlam. Going to have the former WWE Champion, AJ Styles, going to be getting another crack to regain the gold after he lost the title to Edge at SummerSlam. John Cena, who's 2-0 since returning a number of weeks ago. And then, of course, the WWE Champion, Edge, going to be putting up his championship on that night. What a matchup that is going to be at Extreme Rules. Meanwhile, Randy Orton go for the superplex here, but Austin Theory, big time counter, sends the Viper falling, and Theory fouls it up with the elbow drop from the top. And Randy Orton definitely finding himself worse for wear off that fall. Theory is now taking control back into this contest, but Orton gets the shoulder up. And Theory's got to keep the momentum going here. 
keep Randy Orton down. Oh, wait a minute, Orton, nice clothesline, sends Austin Theory over the top rope and to the outside of the ring. Austin Theory's down, Randy Orton coming from the apron. Keeping the momentum going for the Apex Predator. And Orton, look at this, is starting to unleash on Austin Theory. Starting to go to that different side, that different place. On the outside of the ring, where things just get a little bit more brutal. And Austin Theory goes for a ride. And what a fall from Theory off of Randy Orton there. Orton grabbing a hold. He's just having his way with the young man right now. Randy Orton. Gonna look to send Austin Theory back into the ring. And this is where Theory could be in trouble. He just took some brutal offense from the Viper. And if Randy Orton can piece together a couple signature maneuvers, he's gonna be getting his hand raised off this contest here. And now look at this. Scoop slam. Theory goes down. And Orton stomping away. And this is classic Randy Orton here. We saw these maneuvers against every member of the Hurt Business. As he was cold and calculated in his offense. Theory may be down and out. We're gonna follow it up with the knee, but Theory had it scouted there. Clearly did his homework on the offense of Randy Orton tonight. And now Orton in the air. Theory with a fall away slam, and Orton goes down to the ground below. Theory gonna follow it up. Nice kick to the gut. Oh, wait a minute here. Randy Orton gets folded inside out. Orton eats the canvas. Theory into the cover. Orton gets the shoulder up. But Austin Theory's super close there from picking up a huge victory and possibly the biggest victory of his career tonight. It's a win he's been looking for the last number of weeks to truly get that big time win over a established main event Hall of Famer like talent. He hasn't been able to get it done the last number of weeks, but tonight could be the night for Theory. Norton sending him off. Randy Orton's clearly got something else in mind for Austin Theory here. Theory's down. Randy Orton's going to look to unload on the young man. As you see him with the punches and the kicks. Theory may be in trouble. Nice uppercut. That could be a knockout blow by Randy Orton. Theory's down. Orton going to shoot him off here. Some classic Randy Orton offense off the scoop slam again. Randy Orton's feeling it here tonight in friends though. Into the cover. And Austin Theory gets the shoulder up. Not enough just yet. Austin Theory living a fight another day in this... Wait a minute, what's going on? gets a big win off the distraction and the distraction seemingly was surveillance footage from that night several weeks ago oh my god I cannot believe the news that just aired Randy Orton was the one who attacked Riddle in the parking lot Here is your winner, Austin Theory. I don't know what the hell just happened what the hell we just saw Wait a minute. That's the music I know. Riddle's in the house. Riddle's here. Riddle's here. And he's going after Randy Orton. Austin Theory got the win. He's out of here through the crowd. Riddle is here. And he's going after his tag team. Well, I guess his former tag team partner. And Randy Orton sent it up for a ride. What the hell are we witnessing right now? We knew Riddle 
or at least we thought Riddle was going to be making his return tonight. However, we didn't see his face all day here in the arena. It seemingly looked like the return was off. Randy Orton's out here having a contest with Austin Theory, and it looks like Riddle set up a trap to get Randy Orton. I cannot believe that surveillance footage that I guess Riddle got a hold of from that night in that arena when evidently Randy Orton was the one who put Riddle on the shelf. Which was what Bobby Lashley claimed. The Hurt Business was right. Oh my goodness, Randy Orton. I don't even know what to think here besides the fact that Riddle is in the house for the first time in over a month and he has taken the fight to his former tag team partner of RK Bro. Steel chair to the head of Randy Orton. That son of a bitch. I cannot, Riddle's got that steel chair in hand. And he is absolutely snapped. He's coming unglued. I cannot believe that Randy Orton was the one who put Riddle on the shelf. And Randy Orton's trying to fight here. Randy Orton knows he's in a predicament, but Riddle's not allowing that. Sending Orton into the barricade. Riddle is back, and he's coming unglued, and he's beating the hell out of his former tag team partner. Well, anyway, Orton's trying to fight back. I don't know what the injuries are looking like for Riddle. We don't know if he's 100% cleared, if he should even be in there right now. But regardless, this brawl is back up on the outside. Orton's trying to fight Riddle. Riddle's taking a shot. We've got ourselves a brawl here. The Orton better keep his eye on Riddle because Riddle's coming out to fight. Belly to belly on the outside of the ring. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a brawl that is now taking place because the news, the bombshell that we just found out. I don't know how Riddle was able to sit on this, this news, this, this evidence for all these weeks and watch Randy Orton fight the Hurt Business, supposedly what Orton said in his honor, but maybe Orton was trying to cover up the fact that he was the one who took out Riddle. Maybe he thought he hurt Riddle to the point where Riddle would never be back inside the ring. I have no idea what the thought process was. I do know that Riddle has got himself a wood from under the ring. Riddle is back and he's beating the hell out of that son of a bitch Randy Orton. And Riddle's setting up a table here at ringside. Orton's not going to like what Riddle's got planned. Riddle grabbing a hold of the Viper. Orton's in a predicament. Kick sends Orton through the table. Riddle is back. And he's out for blood against his former partner. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.